windy. <laughs> Alright, so that was the Maiden, um, actually handled incredibly well for these kind of winds. I did not expect that at all, um, but man, this thing is super fun, very agile. The roll rate is actually very slow, I don't know if that's just because I'm going into the wind right now, um, but anyways, so maybe some bigger um, Elevons would would be a little better um, so other than that uh, the I got these this main design just off of YouTube and then I use this online CG calculator to figure out where the CG would be and I'll uh, which I kind of see right there so I marked it on the bottom it was like eight something I don't remember um, then the Motor mount, it's just a little custom motor mount thing. I have a little wood plate. Kind of copy this off of like the RC Powers plate. And then uh, to actually hold it on the sides, you can see how there's a, a notch in the top. Let's see if this will focus. Okay, there we go. You can see how there's a notch in the top. Um, so there's also notches in the side, which I cut out to allow the foam to uh, go inside those notches. And then this little triangular house looking board also just kind of, kind of fit kind of fits around those notches on the side just to keep it from just to keep it even more secure than just normal screws holding the plate on to the uh, motor mount itself. There we go. So overall, uh, a really fun design. You can kind of see I did a, a KF airfoil here. There's a step. So this is made from Dollar Tree foam board, um, and I actually don't have any supports in it right now, which I would definitely suggest you doing. Um, but I don't know; it, it was actually flying pretty, pretty well. So um, you can definitely notice flex, though, even if you just hold it. So you can flex it quite a bit. So some some carbon. Uh, tubes or something like that in there it would probably stiffen it up uh, really nice so uh, anyways uh, that's that